The president's speech tonight is hitting home with those fighting gun violence here in Pittsburgh. Jessica Gway is live with reaction from families of local victims and activists who've been pushing for changes. Jessica. Ken, we all heard President Joe Biden say enough, it's time to act, and groups working to prevent gun violence in our area agree. They say they want lawmakers to do something and as quickly as possible. For God's sake, how much more carnage are we willing to accept? In a primetime address, President Joe Biden said too many places in America have become killing fields. He pleaded with Congress to pass what he called rational common sense measures to curb gun violence. This time, we have to take the time to do something. And this time, it's time for the Senate to do something. Tina Ford's son, Armani Ford, was 23 years old when he was shot to death in Clareton in 2019. She founded the group Mothers of Murdered Sons to help families cope. I was very um, impressed, definitely. I listened to every word he said because it was important to me because of my loss. Mr. Biden called for the ban on assault weapons and high capacity magazines to be reinstated and said if that can't be done, then the age to purchase them should be raised to 21. Why in God's name? Should an ordinary citizen be able to purchase an assault weapon that holds 30 round magazines that let mass shooters fire hundreds of bullets in a matter of minutes? He also wants to see strengthening of background checks, safe storage laws, red flag laws, and immunity that shields gun manufacturers from liability to be repealed. I think this is a shame that we have to escalate to such a high massacre, you know, for people to start getting it. To pay attention because here in Pittsburgh, we go through this every day. Not a massacre, but we lose a child every other day. There have been so many tragedies involving guns in Pittsburgh. A gunman killed 11 worshipers at Tree of Life Synagogue in October 2018. Gunfire erupted at a party at an Airbnb on Easter Sunday, killing two teens and injuring nine others. Unless this happens to them, we're going to be right back where we're at now. You know, it sounds good, and I, and I get what he's saying, and I'm for it, but if they don't agree on this, which they should have already hours ago, we're going to keep living this. South Pittsburgh Coalition for Peace shared reaction to the president's speech, saying it's time for everyone from the White House down to be held accountable to do something to make sure this plan gets implemented and the innocent stop being murdered. We need to call on our legislators. Ceasefire PA's statements they shared with us says in part, we also cannot let our state lawmakers off the hook. Harrisburg needs to take action immediately by passing an extreme risk protection order law, require safe storage of guns, banning assault weapons, report lost and stolen firearms, and universal background checks. You can see full statements over on our website. Reporting live, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.